And we're going to talk about percentages and decimals, how they relate to one another. So you'll have a lot of different problems where you're going to have to use um, percentages and uh, figure out the answer. So first, if you think about percent, it really means per 100, because cent is really about 100. If you think of century, there's 100 cents in a dollar. So it's per 100. So really when we say percent, it's a shorthand for writing 1 over 100. It's 1 per 100. So if we're looking at, for example, 20%, really we write that as a fraction by saying that's 20 per 100. 20 over 100, that's the fractional form for a percentage. Any percentage you get, if you have to write it in a fraction, you just put the percentage over 100. Now you know that this isn't in lowest terms, so if you don't know how to put this in lowest terms, watch the video on Facebook, but basically we're going to divide the numerator and the denominator by 20, and in lowest terms, this is 1 -fifth. Well, how do we write 1 -fifth as a decimal? Remember, with any fraction, you just read it numerator to denominator. So numerator divided by denominator, 1 divided by 5. You plug that in your calculator, and you get 0.2. So 20% is the same as 1 fifth, which is the same as 0.2. So look at the relationship between the decimal and the percentage, 20% and 0.2. So the way that you tr can quickly transform a percentage to a decimal is simply by moving the decimal point. You don't have to go through this step of first making it a fraction. So 20%, we just look at the number of that. So we just look at 20. 20 is really, the decimal point is there because really it's 20 with 0 .000 onto infinity. To make 20% into a decimal, you just move the decimal point to the left two places. One, two. So now we have 0.2. So 20% equals 0.2. Let's say we have 45% and we need to make that into a decimal. Again, if you're going from percentage to a decimal, you move the decimal point to the left two spots. So we have 45 with the decimal there, because again, it's really 45 decimal zero zero on forever. So we move it to the left two spots, one, two. So 45% is the same as 0.45. What if we had 125%? Same thing, you always only move it twice. So we have 125, the decimal is there, 1, 2. So 125% can be written as 1.25 when we write it as a decimal. So remember, if you're going from percentage to decimal, you move the decimal point to the left two spots. So it would make sense if we're going from a decimal to a percentage, we're going to move the decimal point to the right two spots. So if we're given 0.65 and we need to write that as a, dec or as a percentage, we move the decimal point. So if this was 0 0.65, 1, 2. So as a percentage, we would write that as 65%. If we had 0.3, we move it over to 1, 2. Well, we're going to have to add a 0 here, so it's 30%. So this is going to come up often in uh, various types of questions where you're going to be given maybe a percentage and you're going to have to change it into a decimal and maybe vice versa. For example, if we say, what is 25% of 275? So here, just as kind of a side note, what, so we're trying to figure out what, as a question mark, is always means equal. 25% of always means times 275. 
So what equals 25% times 275? Well, you can't multiply percentages. You can only multiply decimals. So we're not going to take 25 times 275. We have to make this into a decimal. So how do we make 25% into a decimal? Again, it's really 25, and the decimal point is there. And we're going to move it over to 1, 2. So what equals 0.25 times 275? If you plug 0.25 times 275 into your calculator, you're going to get the answer is 68.75. So what is 25% of 275? 68.75.